I'm involved in a surrogate's court case as a guardian ad litem. I received the call today from one of the attorneys in the case and said, what does a guardian ad litem do? So I don't know if I could really go into that now, but I'll tell you why they're appointed. So it could be in a guardianship, uh, not a guardianship, I mean, it could be in a guardianship proceeding, but in a surrogate's court proceeding, it could either be for a probate or an accounting or any other matter before the surrogate's court. And this could be for someone that's an interested party, that they may not be named in a will, but they could be interest or have an interest in it. I know, I'm sidestepping the issue. The guardian ad litem could be appointed for a person that can't participate for themselves, like a minor child or a person that's incarcerated um, or someone that has an incapacity or even an unknown Meaning we think there's a relative or we think there's a distributee or we think there's someone that could otherwise be interested in the case, but we can't find that person. So the court will appoint a guardian ad litem on behalf of this unknown person. So that's at least why a person is appointed as a guardian ad litem. The what we do and how it gets done, I'll go into it on another video.